this is Shai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to migrate our Angular 13 application to Angular 14. In my previous video, I have explained how to migrate Angular 12 into 13 version. Now, we will see about 13 to 14. And for that sake, let me go into the Visual Studio Code. And here, let me show you the package JSON. So, if you go to the package JSON, you have something like a 13.3.11, which is the existing one. And I have created a branch out of it that is version 14 so what i'll do is just i'll try to remove the package log json from our application and if it does not exist please ignore so now let me check the git status and now it's everything clean let me go to the browser and inside the browser i have selected a guide list from 13 to 14 migration and I have selected a medium application. Now I am trying to run all the commands or the steps which are produced by Angular. So let me copy this and paste here and let me run this. It will take a bit time to update all these packages and after this we will try to execute the remaining lines of statements. So it is collecting all the matched one and it is trying to update the packages and with 14 and if you see the package JSON which I opened it has changed all its versions to 14.0.3 which is the latest released stable version of Angular and now it is trying to update all the package JSON dependencies and then it will start installing each and every package in our node modules so now it is installing all the packages so all the packages has been updated and it is checking whether our code has any changes and if it, really exist then it will remove or add such properties into our application and if you see here it is showing all the entry components has been removed from angular 13 angular 13 has removed all that and if you see in angular 14 version the path match property of routes was updated to be strict union of two valid options that is full and prefix and also there are some routes and route variables need an explicit type migration completed all this migration has been completed and if you check here you will be getting all the changes it has updated with the default project as angular tutorials and also if you go to the package log json this is a new file which is created and also it updated ts config with ts 2020 so now it has been updated to angular 14 let me run this application ng serve and hit enter and if you see here we don't have any other folder other than node modules and src now it will create a dot angular folder inside that we will be having all the files which are minified and that will be running in your application after this building process is done it has created dot angular folder which is having catchy 14.0.3 and babel and all the files which are minified if you open any of this file you will not understand any of the code inside these files and it is still creating it and once the creation is done then it will update your data it will be running in you running the application in your local host 4200 which is the default port and i am running here let me reload this if you see here hi i am using 13 why it is showing 13 because our app component contains the string as 13 now we can make it as 14 and let me save this go here and let me see hi i am using angular 14 now our application has been migrated to angular 14 if you see here this angular 14 has been updated let us check the remaining steps in our application so if you see here we are done with this and remaining things are not much necessary from angular 13 to 14 why because we are using 4.6 type script i can check the version for that so you can check tsc hyphen hyphen version and you can see that the version is 4.4.2 that is now used as 4.6 that means we can use either 4.6 or 4.4 it is compatible and also if you see the make sure it should have a node.js version of 6 14 or more than that node hyphen hyphen version so it will give the 16 so it is also up to date so form models or requires a generic type parameter so this is already i have explained in the type reactive forms of angular 14 in one of the video i'll provide the link in the description so this is also done and aot summaries this is also done and also 
json p request we are not using and resolvers now will take first emitted values this one we will be learning whenever we are doing on the resolver so we are done with the updation and migration has been completed from now i'll be using this angular 14 folder structure in the upcoming videos to know more about angular 14 features i made one of the video and i will provide the link in the description please watch for better understanding on angular 14 features and also i did a updated modules of reactive forms and that feature i have explained in detail in our reactive forms where we can use strictly typed reactive forms of angular 14 and in the upcoming videos we always concentrate on the previous version as well as the angular 14 changes if angular 14 changes comes in then i'll make a different video for that angular 14 specific feature hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you